Now, he served in the cabinet across the two terms of Mwai Kibaki's presidency, first as a person in charge of youth affairs and later on livestock development. This week on the cabinet, we focus on Dr. Mahmoud Kuti. Nineteen ninety two to nineteen ninety seven, Kuti worked at the Isiolo District Hospital before investing in a private hospital, Waso Medical Services. In two thousand and two, Kuti, then a thirty six year old doctor who had made a name for himself by caring for the sick in northeastern Kenya, ventured into politics and was elected to represent Isiolo North constituency on a Kano ticket. In two thousand and two, President Kibaki appointed Kuti as Assistant Minister for Health. He has been credited with being one of the people who played a big role in initiating several reforms in the initial years of the Kibaki presidency. These included putting systems in place to fight corruption, such as the Kenya Anti-Corruption Authority, now known as the Ethics Anti-Corruption Commission, and the Kenya National Human Rights Commission, in setting up an efficient monitoring unit to boost performance in government offices. The government's defeat in the November 2005 referendum on changing the constitution of Kenya turned out to be a blessing in disguise for Kuti. An analysis of the referendum polls established that the majority of youths had voted against the draft. President Kibaki then formed a ministry dedicated to the youth. Kuti was then appointed as Minister for Youth Affairs. The newly crafted ministry drafted several wide-reaching youth employment policies and initiatives. The programs included the National Youth Enterprise Fund, Chora Bizna, National Youth Policy and National Youth Council. There were also policies to strengthen the copyright protection of works by local musicians. In 2006, Kuti gazetted the Youth Enterprise Development Fund with a strategic focus on enterprise development as a key strategy aimed at increasing opportunities for and participation by Kenyan youths in nation building. The fund was launched by President Kibaki on the 1st of February 2007 with a billion shilling seed capital. By June 2019, the fund had cumulatively disbursed loans amounting to 12.8 billion shillings to more than 1 million youths across the country since 2013. He successfully defended his seat in 2007. In 2008, he was appointed to head the Ministry of Livestock Development. In 2013, Kuti won the Isiolo senatorial seat under the devolved system of government. In 2017, he vied for the Isiolo governorship as an independent candidate and floored five other contenders, becoming one of the only two governors in the country to be elected as independents. In 2022, at the same time, he quit active politics. Jackie Wambiru, the cabinet.